What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss T, and I'm coming at y'all today with a brief little haul. It's very small. Um, I went to my local stylist today, and I picked up a few items. Um, two weeks ago, I went to Sally's, and I just picked up a couple of a couple of things, like one or two pieces, and I saw an item there that I was have been looking at for a while. It's a conditioner, and I've heard a lot of um, great things about it, but it's kind of expensive for it to be Sally's. I went to the store and the condition that I had been looking at was on sale. It was on sale for $15.99. At the time, I did not pick it up because I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to spend that much money for a conditioner because it's not a big jar or anything like that. And I'm like, I can go and probably go to my local professional store and get it, get something just as good or better. <coughs> Excuse me. So I went to my local Sally's today and I was just picking up my my staple hair moisturizer. I'm out of my one of my favorites, which is um, the Organic Root Stimulator Hair Lotion. I absolutely love this stuff. When I went out, matter of fact, here's the other bottle. As you can see, I have it turned upside down because I'm about finished with it. I have about probably about that much left, and I'm trying to get all of that out before I throw the bottle away. But I went to my local Sally's to pick up another bottle and just so happened that this was on sale for $4.99. So I picked up two. Yay! I'm excited. I'm truly excited because this is my favorite moisturizer in the world. For right now, anyway. It's my favorite. But as I was walking to the store, they had another moisturizer that I've tried previously and I wasn't sure if I liked it or not because it wasn't it wasn't this for one thing, and it's not as thick and creamy as this. This I'm um, called African Pride Olive Oil Anti Breakage Hair Hair Lotion. Can you see it? Here. You go. This is what it looks like. It's um real light. That's what it's like. It's kind of yellowish, creamy. Let me show you. It's it's not it's it's not as thick as it appears. It's actually a very good product, but it's thinner my um, organic root stimulator. This is so thick. Look at me. I'm going to show you. This is how thick this stuff is. But that is a lot looser. It's a lot lighter. And I said, well, I'm going to give it another try because it worked. It was okay, but I was so used to using the, the ORS stuff, hair lotion, that I didn't really give it a fair chance. And I just wrote it off saying, well, it doesn't work. I'm not going to use it anymore. Plus, it was on sale also for $2.85. And I'm thinking, $2.85, why not revisit it and try it again and give it a fair shake this time. So, when I finish using up this bottle of my organic root stimulator, because this is almost gone, I give it another week at the most. And probably less than that because I've been doing a lot of co-washes during the day and putting my hair up in a little bun. As you can see, all I do is wear it to the side and stuff. It's a little tiny bun, but it works for me. And it's been so hot and humid in my area curls and stuff don't work and I'm hoping with this um, the African Pride, African Pride lotion hair lotion I can use it and maybe it'll work on my twist out because my twist out was nice but it got frizzy by the end of the day and I think that's because I didn't use enough more oil moisturizer and I didn't wash my hair before I did it I just took it moisturized my hair the night before and braided it up and and that was it. And I think if I do it on clean hair and maybe use this this time, it might turn out a lot better. But I also went to my little salads and I picked up my favorite edge um, control. I love this stuff by um, Organic Roots Stimulator. It's my favorite. It's the one thing that lays my edges down. It doesn't really pull my hair out. My, my edges are thin because I always wear my hair back. That's why my edges are thin. And I do, I, I, I'm, I'm bad for this and I know it. I brush my hair with a, a full bristle, bristle brush when it's wet. Excuse me, I need to wash this brush. But I brush my hair when it's wet with this type of brush and that's a no-no, but I do it. And that is why my edges are broken off around here, here, and right up in there. Um, start by taking better care of my hair because I've been experimenting for the summertime and I wanted a brighter color. So I bleached my hair out. I think I told y'all about this. I bleached it out and it got to a nice bright 
Auburn type copper pentacle. It's a little too bright for me. So I toned it down with um, Color Brilliance. I didn't feel like going to the professional store and spending that type of money on, um, on rent, excuse me, on semi-permanent color. So I just went to size and got this. I've used it previously in the past. It worked for me. I liked it. However, I picked it up about two weeks ago and I colored my whole head and I concentrated on edges because I'm gray around my edges and I wanted to hide that. And I got the medium ash brown color to kind of tone down the redness in my hair. If you if you ever want to tone down, say you color your hair and your hair brings up red or red undertones and you want to tone it down, get something either with neutral or ash in it or ash type color. Like this one is medium ash brown. It tones down the red. Only problem with this is that I used it at the time it worked, it toned it down. But being that this is a permanent color, it washed out and rinsed out a lot quicker than I was expecting. And matter of fact, because I put so much um, oils and moisturizers in my hair, it faded quicker than what it normally should fade. So I went back to Silas and I picked up another color. I picked up this. This one was the medium ash brown, which is what I used two weeks ago, maybe two to three weeks ago. And this it worked well, but it didn't last as long and it didn't tone my hair down as much as I would have liked. So. I went back and got the darkest brown, which I'm hoping, which is something I always do, and I don't know how I wind up doing it. When I choose darkest brown, it always dyes my hair to almost look like it's black, and I hate that. I don't want black hair, I just want chocolate brown hair. So I'm hoping with my hair being as bright as it is, and this being darkest brown, that it'll tone it. I have another bottle of the medium ash brown, and what I may do is mix the two together, because this bottle is the bottle I had from the time I colored, so it's about empty. So, and I have another bottle of the medium ash brown, and I got the darkest brown. So, what I may do is mix the two into this bottle and color my hair that way and see what I get. Maybe it'll come out the way I want it, maybe it won't. I don't know. I'll experiment. It's not permanent color, so it'll wash out if I don't like it. I also picked up another empty color bottle because for some reason I can't find my other ones in the move i guess because we recently moved a couple of months ago about three or four months ago i can't find them i don't know where they went to maybe they got thrown out i don't know but they're probably packed up somewhere or just i misplaced them i don't know but what i came on here to tell y'all the real reason why i went back to silas today is for this let me see if i can move in this is the as i am Double buttercream. Ta -ta -da -da. I'm gonna pick this up because this was the last one. It was on sale for fifteen dollars and ninety nine cent. Still from two weeks ago. Now normally any other time I would go back, this would be gone. But it was still there, and it's so funny because a young lady was looking at it, and she went and stepped to look at something else. I picked it up because I'm. And I'm, girlfriend, I'm sorry. If you see this video, I'm sorry. But I had to have it. I wanted this. Because this stuff looks awesome. This is what it looks like. If you can see the lid. That's how thick it is. Oh my gosh. And that's just, oh. See? Oh my goodness. That's how thick it is. I don't even want it to come out. And the smell is also delicious. I'm sorry, it smells really, really good. And from what I've been told, it smells really great. And the, the lady, when I was tell, asking her, was she sure this was the price? She was like, oh yeah, it's on sale for $15.99. She said, this stuff is great, it is nice. So I was like, wow. And it's real soft and creamy. And it, feel, it doesn't feel, you know, feel real heavy. But it smells good. I'm putting it on my hair. Might as well go on and get started. But it's um, it's a moisturizer. Feels feels nice. It don't feel real real oily either. Feels more water based. But let me read you the description. It says double buttercream, rich daily moisturizer, with cocoa butter, shea butter, castor oil, jojoba oil, sugar beet root, wheat germ oil, vegetable glycerin, wheat protein, pathanol, and lanolin. But it says a power-packed natural moisturizing buttercream that provides dehydrated hair 
with what it needs to look and behave its very best. This originally, if I'm not mistaken, at Sally, the original price for this cost $27.99, if I'm not mistaken. I know it's $27 and some change. It was on sale for $15.99, and I have been eyeing this product line, especially this right here, for a while. And I've heard a lot of great reviews on it. I went to the, um, to the website and checked that out. So this is what I went, really went to Sally's for to see if they still had it. And I actually picked it up. And it was the very last one. So I'm very happy. So what I'll probably be doing is once I use it, because I probably, I'm not going to use this immediately because I'm still trying to use my other items, is that I'll probably, when I start using it, I'll probably come back with a review of it. But hopefully... I didn't take up too much time and I'm starting to ramble. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great day. Make it a good one. Bye.